The trend is your friend. Ride it until its end, until it reaches its bend. Welcome back to my channel. We are doing a 10-part series on Bitcoin. Today is part six, I believe. Part six today. And we're going to focus on immediate price targets over the coming weeks and the coming months. Because markets tend to be moving in cycles and trends. And we can use any wave theory, momentum, but also Fibonacci ratios. Now, we've covered a lot in the first few parts of this, which has been in a bear market for quite a while, well over a year now. But we've had this recent impulsive move to the upside. We look like we're forming the beginning part of a correction and we anticipate it, like we covered in the last part, to come into this range below $20,000, yet to be done. So we're going to do a bit of forecasting today. We just have to make a few predictions and where it's likely to go. But what we're going to focus on today is where is the next run of Bitcoin likely to go to if it does occur based on what has happened over the last few months. So brace yourself. We're going to go into a bit of detail today. And don't forget, before I go in, to take advantage of my free Bitcoin membership area. It's a report. We do timely information with this new valuable information which we want to utilize. And it gives us a high probability of what's really like to happen so we can see what we should do in terms of buying, selling, standing aside. But also keep in mind that Bitcoin is like a macro indicator for the rest of the markets. So all the altcoins, it's going to correlate to some degree, you know, whether it's Polygon, Solana, Ethereum. When Bitcoin dips, they tend to dip as well. And there tends to be a nice correlation. So use that information so you can have a higher probability of making money from the markets. So what we're going to do is we do have to project, and we, this has not been confirmed, so do, do take this with a pinch of salt. But let's just say this occurs, and this low holds this point over here. And we're going to use this date and time to make some price projections. In a further part, I'm going to go into a bit of detail on the pattern position. Like there's a particular pattern unfolding that we want to be aware of, but right now, we're going to focus on price. What we're going to do is we're going to measure how far did Bitcoin's price move up from this low to this high. We're going to measure it and then we're going to project it from this forward here, this point forward here. Because what typically occurs is the wave structure before has a relationship with the wave structure of the future. There's certain indicators that we use in trading that are lagging, like momentum, stochastics, RSI, etc., and there's others that are leading indicators that can project what's very likely to happen in the future. And Fibonacci ratios is one of those. And that's what we're going to use over here. But bearing in mind that this has not been confirmed yet. So we do need to get that confirmation and we should get it over the next coming weeks. So let's just use this point over here. I'm going to get rid of these lines. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a tool on TradingView called Trend Based Fib Extension. And we're going to do it from this middle point over here. We're going to take the low to this high. Requires three clicks. And we are guessing, because it's not been confirmed yet, at the 62%. So we're just saying 19,300. If that occurs, then the minimum expectation for Bitcoin on the next leg up, if this kind of pattern occurs, is the first one as the minimum is the 100% called the alternate time projection or the extension is 29,000. But it's also highly probable we're going to hit this ratio over here. It's a key buying and selling psychology and it's 35,000. Now, I do want to bring up a couple more ratios. I think I got them on the chart. Let me just double check. Yeah, I do. It's the 2.618. The reason for that is often... The next, the second leg up, we call this the first leg, right? It's like a nice five-wave move. We'll, we'll clarify this in the future part in this 10-part series. But the second leg up, it's not uncommon, especially in crypto, where the emotions are so raw, they overextend. So the overextension is the 2.618. And I just want to bring that price target to our attention as well. We'll just be a bit further up. These are the pre previous ratios that we drew as a minimum and it's one of the reasons why I anticipate we're probably going to get an overextension because the minimum expectation is this level. We covered that in part 
part one and part two of this 10-part series, which is the $42,000 range. But the 2.618 is $45,000 Bitcoin. Is that going to occur in the next leg up? If the next leg up occurs, we don't know, but we want to be prepared for it. And what's going to be a big clue is how the next trend unfolds. And we're going to cover that in a bit more detail in a future part. But the next thing we're going to cover before we cover that is how long is the next leg typically going to take, right? And we can use the information gathered from this part, how this unfolded, because these are people, people that are controlling the buying, and they're going to be the same people or similar on the next leg. And that gives us a big clue on what's likely to occur. We can use that information so we can anticipate what's very, very likely to occur. So make sure you're taking advantage of my free Bitcoin membership area. Take advantage of the report. We're going to dive into Socrates. This was the last part of quote. Today's quote, I'm going for 10 Socrates quotes, a bit of wisdom. He says the following, Be kind, for everyone you meet is fighting a hard battle. And what I realize in life, whether life looks fantastic or it looks not so great, your personal circumstance, everyone seems to be going through their own war, their own challenge, the highs and the lows. So Socrates says, be kind. You know, in other words, don't think, take things for face value because it could be a lot going on. For everyone you meet is fighting a hard battle, whether it's you or the person next to you, whether you know it or not. So be kind. All right, I'll see you for part number eight, I think it is. We are going for, yes, part, no, part seven, sorry. We're going to go into the time targets for the next immediate run if it occurs and we can be quite precise. And then in the future one, we're also going to go into some pattern position as well. All right, I'll see you in the next part.